just the other day, a man abducted a five-year-old child. Thankfully, he's been arrested and charged and is currently in custody. But we can't know his name because according to the police and the judiciary, the current climate forbids them telling us who he is. If you live in Ireland or the UK today and you still believe you live in a free and fair and open society, you don't. You absolutely don't. At some point, that all went away. Maybe they didn't flag it, maybe it wasn't in the newspapers, but I can tell you here and now, categorically, those days are behind us. We now live in an age where according to the government, according to the judiciary, according to the police, we get to know only what we need to know or what they think we need to know. Everything else has to be neutered, disappeared, made invisible. Because in their view, too much information might make the ordinary people think wrong things. Why, they might get the wrong ideas. We can't have that. You can't handle the truth! Yes, the current climate is a reason why we, the public, the general public, the citizenry, cannot know the name of this person who was arrested and charged. But only a few short weeks ago, we had a similar situation where people at the Kulak protest, which were protesting against hundreds of unvetted males being shoehorned, parachuted into their community with no vetting and no checks. They were arrested on public order charges. And lo and behold, the Daily Mirror, the next day, were able to run all their names, all their addresses, and their occupations. And no problem there, it seems, for the Gardaí or the judiciary, for the politicians who probably cheered it on. But now, for some reason, a five-year-old child being abducted, kidnapped, is a whole different story for the powers that be, for whatever reasons they may have. No, this person cannot be named. We cannot know their address. We cannot know their occupation, if indeed they have one. And all because of, as they put it, the current climate. And in this case, I think we can all make a reasonable assumption. It has nothing to do, for once, with climate change. You can't handle the truth! So according to the Irish Examiner, a man who allegedly abducted a child from apartment building where he was at a party remanded in custody. The accused was seen leaving the building with the five-year-old under his arm, walking away, court told. A man who had been at a party when he allegedly left a Dublin apartment building with a young child under his arm has been remanded in custody. The defendant, in his mid-twenties, cannot be named after Gardy cited the, quote, sensitivity of the case, quote, in the current climate, and were granted a reporting restriction order. Yes, when it comes to Kulak protesters, uh, no, we can just bandy their names, addresses and occupations all over the universe. But where a five-year-old child is kidnapped, abducted, on CCTV, no, no, we, can, we can't name that person. We couldn't possibly name that person. We couldn't possibly even dream of naming that person because that's far too sensitive in the current climate. What is the current climate? What is this current climate? When, it, when did that become a thing? When did that become a thing where the guards would decide, no, no, the current climate is just not suitable. We couldn't possibly release the name of the person and we beseech you, judge, to issue an order, a bench order, that this cannot happen. And the judge says, yes, well, that sounds pretty good to me. That sounds all pretty fine, fair and dandy. Yes, current climate, good enough. Release nothing. Meanwhile, all you I-pass illegal immigration centre protesters, let your names be posted on every lamppost, on every wall, on every billboard in the land. You people don't get the benefit 
of any climate, as far as we're concerned. The man is accused that, without lawful authority or reasonable excuse, he intentionally attempted to take, caused to be taken, detained or caused to be detained, a child aged under 16. Garda Laura McDermott told Judge Gerald Jones the man's reply to the charge was, quote, I was not taking the child anywhere. I'm not a person like that. I do not have any intention with a child. I do not have any bad or unwanted intentions with a child. I may not be the sharpest tool in the box, but if you pick up and carry away under your arm a five-year-old child that you do not know, that you're not related to in any way, and that you have absolutely no connection with, and walk off into the sunset with them. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume you have some ill intent towards that child. Otherwise, why on earth would you do it? There's a reason why I and you and 99.99% of the population don't go round picking up other people's five-year-old children and carrying them off into the sunset. Because we, most of us, are decent, honest people. But who is this person? Well, we don't know. Because of the current climate, at least according to the police. As far as I'm concerned, it's all too deja vu with the Rotherham grooming scandals that also couldn't be reported because of the current climate. The court was told he was seen leaving with the five-year-old under his arm, walking away. The Garda, that is a beat cop, not a superintendent, not the chief of police, the Garda asked for reporting restrictions due to the current climate, and the judge acceded, telling journalists in court not to publish the defendant's name. Well, well, since he wasn't a protester outside Kulak's I-Pass Centre, well, there's no problem there. Wish granted, said the judge. Go ahead. Seeing as you're only a child abductor and not one of those far-right bigots, I will accede to your request. Defence solicitor Michael Kelleher said his client was at a party in the building and was intoxicated. Well, OK, well, that excuses everything, you know. If you get a few bevies into you, well, <laughs> he picked up a five-year-old child and walked off. What's the problem? The defendant, who did not address the court, was granted legal aid and remanded in custody to appear at Cloverhill District Court on Wednesday for a bail application. Yes, received legal aid. The current climate is one degree below Boiling. But who is Garda Laura McDermott to petition a judge to not release simple, pertinent details? Is Garda Laura McDermott now deciding what the people should and shouldn't know, what they can and cannot handle? You can't handle the truth! Is that how it's going? Garda Laura McDermott, not sergeant, not superintendent, not chief of police. Garda Laura McDermott is now deciding, no, the public simply can't and shouldn't know this. And the judge agreed. You think you live in a free and fair and balanced society. You don't. You don't. That's disappearing like snow on a spring morning. It's just melting away. And you don't even notice. And they don't want you to notice. And you'll wake up one day and you'll realise... You can't say anything for fear of being taken away in the back of a police car. Keir Starmer is already making great strides in the UK and we are trotting very close behind in his footsteps here in Ireland. George Orwell wasn't just an exceptional novelist, he was an exceptional visionary.